Apologise. Next. Uh, speaker. I'll call Mark Patterson. Uh, I rise on New Almost Zealand different. First to uh, make a contribution on this uh, dog control uh, bill uh, amendment act. Um, so New Zealand First have looked at this legislation uh, and we believe that it is uh, somewhat of a mixed bag. Uh, and I apologise to the House in advance, something of a dog's breakfast. Uh, the positives, uh, as have been outlined by my uh, colleague on the side of the House, uh, Ms Dyson has, uh, has alluded to the fact that uh, there is some positives with this bill. Uh, the bill does have a good intent. It seeks to get better animal welfare outcomes. Uh, and I think those of us that uh, New Zealanders, even though the, the number of prosecutions and, and, and uh, people that this court would be, uh, this, uh, uh, this bill would be uh, uh, applicable to, isn't that great? But the number of New Zealanders that own dogs are significant. And I know as a farmer, and Mr McKelvey mentioned in his opening address, as, as farmers, we're totally reliant on our dogs. And, uh, and, and uh, so we uh, probably, uh, as all dog owners, but uh, p particularly as farmers with working dogs, uh, are, are, are really uh, have an affinity with our, our animals and want the best for them. So I think we can say that the, the pound time that this would save, uh, potentially, is, is a positive thing. Uh, it is, uh, also would be a cost saving uh, that, that won't uh, come for free, there will be a cost that will lie somewhere. And it does look to, to, to free up the courts, as been said. Uh, 427 of those 557 of the 2015-16 uh, cases were of Category 1. Uh, and 64 of those uh, dogs actually ended up being put down. Um, but the Category 1 is actually quite... When you dig down into this, Category 1 is actually quite a broad category. If you look at the uh, sort of offences that are included in that. Now, I mean, the, the three months prison, I think, which is the threshold for not being a Category 1 offence, is actually a really high threshold. Uh, and we would argue possibly too high to be handled by community magistrates or justices of the peace. Uh, the, the, many of them are, would, would suit that. Failure to register a dog. Uh, failure to advise change of dog ownership. Failure to advise change of address. Failure to carry a leash in public. Some of those things are reasonably uh, misdemeanour type offences, which you wouldn't want to be dragging people through the courts and clogging up the court time. So we, we uh, respect the intent of the bill at that point. But at the top end of that range, there are a number of offences that would cause concern. Willful obstruction of a dog control officer or a ranger. Failure to comply with effects of classification as a dog as a dangerous dog. Fraudulent sale or transfer of a dangerous dog. So the people that are getting convicted of this, under this Act are actually people that primarily have got dangerous dogs. And as the previous speaker alluded, that is a real problem for our society. It's a health and safety risk. And uh, the last year we've seen, well, since 2008, we've seen the cost of ACC from dog-related injuries go from $3 million uh, to $4.5 million. Um, so, uh, and that's over 14,000 claims. So that is a significant issue uh, that we are dealing with. And we would like to see, I think, some of the, before we could support this bill, Further, beyond the select committee stage, I think we would like to see a review of that Category 1 to see if that's fit for purpose for what we're seeking to do. Uh, we in New Zealand First will not go soft on crime like it looks like the National Party want to do over there on that side with this bill. So we will be looking quite, ca quite carefully to make sure that that's, the categories are fit for what we're trying to do here. But we do support the intent of the bill. Uh, so we will support it through uh, to select committee. 
uh, but we will be looking for those changes to be made, and, and because the Select Committee is a, a wise one, we expect those uh, very uh, sensible changes will come out of that. So we will support this bill to the but House. I call Denise Lee. Thank you for the chance now. 